Hey, what's up, internet people? Welcome to Unusually Horrid Vlog. I hope you're having a magical day, and if you're not, I'm here to make it slightly more magical for you, because today I have an Elsa cosplay makeup tutorial for you. So if you watched my last video, which was my makeup palette tour for early 2021, I had mentioned that I did an Elsa photo shoot in the snow last weekend. Was it last? Technically it was the weekend before last. Now. Wow, time flies when you're really bored. So I didn't film any of it except for like one tiny, not even a good get ready with me TikTok. It was very rushed. So I thought I would do a little chill Elsa cosplay with you. Today's cosplay look is inspired by Wreck-It Ralph 2 when all the princesses are at ohmydisney.com. Uh, here, I'll show you my shirt. One second. So it's the just let it go, like crew neck that she wears. Hers is ombre. Um, mine is made by me, so you can barely see the uh, snowflakes anymore. So I made this shirt for a Halloween costume uh, that I was going to wear to work during the day, and then I transformed into my full Elsa cosplay that night. Anyway, so because I already did the full Elsa, I thought it would be fun to get back into this one and just have like a chill cosplay today with you and I'll show you how I do my Elsa makeup. So let's get started. First things first, I'm gonna slip my wig cap on before I start my makeup. Jumping right into the makeup, I am getting started with Elf's Putty Primer. And I'm just gonna get this all over my face. So today is going to be a little bit challenging. My cat tried to take my finger off the other day. So now all my creams are going to be stuck in a band-aid, which is like not fun. So now from here, I am going to get right into her eyeshadow. So Elsa rocks a pretty bold eye makeup look for a Disney leading lady. She has a nice winged liner with her purple eyeshadow here. So I'm gonna create that with a little, you know, makeup flair. I like to bring a little personality to each cosplay that I do. I don't always go for screen accuracy uh, because that would lead to an unholy amount of perfectionism that would just completely keep me from doing cosplay. With that being said, I am going to get right into my giant artistry palette here. So this lovely palette has been the little superstar of my last couple videos because I do love it so much, but also it just has like these really rich purples that work very well for Elsa's makeup look. But before I jump into my eyeshadow, I am going to prep it with my e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer. So as you can see, that is all nice and blended out and it's time to jump into the eyeshadow. So I'm gonna go in with this shimmery purple right here first. And I'm going in with just my nice fluffy brush here that I use for most of my shimmer pigments. So I'm gonna take this dark purple. I'm gonna guide you where I'm doing it with this. I'm taking this dark purple and we're going to put it pretty much all through here. Then I'll be blending it in with another purple and sort of putting like a silver here and under the brow bone. So let's get started. And I'm just patting that pigment on and sort of blending it out with the fluffy side of this brush as I go along to make sure that my edges aren't harsh before I go in and blend it out. Okay, so I'm gonna move on to my transition color for the middle, which will be this light pinkish purple right here. I'm gonna flip my brush back around and blend more of that dark color in on this side. Okay, so now for this area, I'm going in with this silver right down here, which has some blue in it, which complements Elsa's color scheme. I'm 
So I'm going to blend that lighter purple right into that. I'm also going to take this silver and put it right under my brow bone as well. Now I'm going to take my fluffy brush and just blend this all in together. Okay, moving on from the shadow now, it's time to line this eye. Now, I usually use a white liner anyway, um, but it is a good way to make your eyes look a little bit bigger and more cartoon character-like. So I'm just going to tight line on my waterline to make my eyes appear a little bit bigger. Okay, so from here, I'm gonna go in with the winged liner. So I usually do a bigger liner. I try to tone it down a little bit for Elsa. So I'm gonna try to do a smaller wing than I usually do. So keyword there being try, but we'll see how this goes. Okay, so I've got that lined. I'm gonna go ahead and add a lash now. So whenever I did my photo shoot, I had these really glittery lashes. Um, I will not be ever wearing those ever again. I'm glad I wore them for my nice pictures, but they were so uncomfortable. I will never do that again. So I'm just gonna wear these really nice lashes that I found at, I think, yeah, they were at Walmart. I found these at Walmart. I can't remember the name of the brand because unfortunately I already threw the package away they came in, but they're just really nice fluffy lashes. They're actually the same. They're actually the same lashes that I was wearing in my last video. So to prep for these lashes, I'm going to go ahead and put a base of Too Faces Better Than Sex Mascara. And I'm just going to do a little base coat, a little prep coat before I glue my lashes on. Okay, so I've got my tweezers here on standby because I'm definitely going to need them. And right now I am using Duo's Set Quick Eyelash Glue, uh, which I'm going to be honest, isn't really my favorite eyelash glue. Duo's Brush On is my favorite eyelash glue, but unfortunately at the store I was at at the time, they were out. So got to do what you got to do. So I'm going to take my glue and just brush it on my lash. Now this one is a quick set and here's why I don't particularly care for this glue because it calls itself a quick set yet if I wait under 10 seconds it won't stick. If I wait longer than 10 seconds it won't stick. It's a very finicky glue. It's not my favorite at all. So let's see if I can manage to do this on camera. I have my mirror on my knee in front of me. So wish me luck. Okay, that's on pretty decent, but I definitely need to adjust it. Okay, so that lash is on as good as it is going to get. I do need to fix my eyeliner a little bit. Nobody asked you. I watched that fuzz fly into my face. Okay, so this eye is done. I'm gonna hop off camera and do this one and then we'll come back for the brows and the rest of the face. Voila, the other eye is done. Okay, let's go ahead and move on to my brows now. Elsa only has like a slight arch to her brow and her brows are quite a bit longer than mine. So I'm gonna take this out and extend it just a little bit. And I'm going to use my Profusion eye palette with black gel in it that I like to use for my eyebrows. And I'll be using my super flat brush here. I prefer not to use an angled brush for my eyebrows. If you like an angled brush, that's that's your jam. I used to use one for a very long time, but now I don't. Okay, so like I said, her arch is pretty minimum. But I am making my brow a little bit longer. Thank you. 
Okay, so I'm just gonna try and match this side to this side. Okay, so now I have my brows on. I'm gonna move on to my foundation. So Elsa is pretty much, you know, white as snow. So I'm going in with the lightest foundation I have, which is Milani's Screen Queen. And this is in shade 140, Nude Ivory. And I'm just gonna put that on with my beauty blender. Yeah, I would love to do a Frozen 2 cosplay as soon as I have like extra finances or like, you know, a reason like Halloween or something. I actually like Frozen 2 better than Frozen 1. I feel like it has a better story. Like, I feel like the first one is like really great for like character introduction, but I definitely enjoyed like already knowing the characters and just seeing them like jump into action. And I feel like we got actual answers about Elsa in this one, whereas the first one just kind of left you wondering. I, I feel like I just like watched it at the perfect time in my life where I just needed somebody to like tell me it's okay to not be okay. And I feel like that movie does a really good job of that. <laughs> so it kind of just like became my emotional support movie for a while. Okay, now that my foundation is mostly blended in, I am going to get into my contour. I have my little cream contour here. I try to make this less dramatic than I usually would wear and try to do it more upward to try and get that little Disney cherub face. Now I'm gonna over contour my nose, just like I see all the cosplayers do on TikTok. So I can have a cute little cartoon nose. Okay, so after my nose, I'm gonna do my forehead just a little bit because the wig will cover most of it, but still. And I'm just gonna blend that out. I see so many like cosplayers do their noses like this and I'm always like that looks like so much makeup but I want to try it and I've been sort of playing with cosplaying my nose like this this one just this particular technique just makes it look a little bit more cartoony it is a lot of makeup though and hopefully once I get the highlight on here and blend it out it'll look a little bit better Okay, so speaking of highlight, let's jump right into it. I'm using the cream highlight that came with my cream contour. So I've highlighted the tip of my nose and the bridge of my nose, and I'm doing like these triangles here. So this is going to highlight under my eye as well as highlight the corners of my nose to give it a more cartoony effect. I feel like when you're doing cosplay makeup, it's totally acceptable to over highlight and contour as much as you see fit. And of course, cause you know, it's the apocalypse. I have to wear my mask all the time and I have terrible mask me right now, so I'm trying to hide the breakouts, but you know how it is. We're all in this together, right? Okay, so I'm gonna blend all this craziness out now. Starting with this nose, okay. Let's see, let's see if I can get the cosplay nose right. Okay, so far so good. I'm working my way up around my face. The more I play with the cream contour, the more I like it. I just feel like I need to keep trying to find 
like better product because this was just like cheap stuff I got from Marshalls and it's working okay. I just want to see what else is out there for cream contours. It's something I've never really dabbled in before, like two or three weeks ago. Okay, so I've got all of that blended out. Now I'm gonna set it with my e.l.f. Perfection Finish powder. I'm gonna take my little powder puff here and just roll it over everything. Okay, I'm actually gonna do another layer of powder over everything with my Pure Pressed powder, which is a little bit pigmented, but it is pretty fair. I'm just gonna roll this over everything as well. That way all the creams I used are super nice and locked in before I go in with some powders. Okay, so next up for blush, I'm using my Resting Bitch Face palette and I am using the two blushes in the middle and I'm focusing a lot of this blush on the very tip of my nose to give it a more cartoony look. Now along my cheeks. And I'm going to take a smaller fluffy brush just to define the nose a little bit more with the blush. Just right on top as well. Now I'm going to take my fluffy kabuki brush here and blend that in. And now I am going to highlight my nose with some powder as well. And I'm going in with Too Faced's Diamond Fire. And I'm just going to try and focus as much of that shine on the tip of my nose as possible. Blend that in. And do the same on the bridge of my nose. And blend that in. And above my brow. Right above my lip and my forehead as well. I'm probably going to sit on the couch dressed in my casual Elsa playing Stardew Valley while watching Frozen 2 for the rest of the night. That sounds fun. Okay, so now I'm going to move on to the lips. So for today's lips, I am using NYX's Slip Tees in shade Koi Seduction. Now Elsa has smaller lips, so I'm not going to overline at all. I'm just going to put them on what I've got, which isn't that much, so we're good. <laughs> Okay, so that's pretty much it for her makeup. I am gonna jump off camera really quick and slip into my wig and show you a completed Elsa from Wreck-It Ralph 2. <laughs> Look! Okay, so I'm trying to like get you the full experience here, but I guess I'm just not like skilled enough to figure out how to get the entire look on camera. But, but here is my little Wreck-It Ralph 2 cozy Elsa cosplay for you guys. So here's the cozy version of the cosplay. Now I want to show you some pictures from the actual photo shoot. So take that away. <laughs> All right, so those were my pictures from my actual like full Frozen 1 Elsa cosplay. And I hope you liked today's like chill Wreck-It Ralph 2 Elsa cosplay video. Anyway, thank you for watching this video. If you like Disney and spooky things and makeup, then you should definitely consider subscribing. Tell me in the comments below which Frozen movie is your favorite, Frozen 1 or Frozen 2. And if you want to stay up to date on all things Unusually Horrid and be the first to know when videos come out, 
Don't forget to check out the Facebook page. My link is in the description below. And if you want to check out my Instagram, my link is there as well. Thank you again for watching. I hope you enjoyed my magical Elsa transformation today. And have a good day. Have a good night. Have a good life. Unusually Elsa out. <laughs> okay, bye.